Hey, 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 it's Liam again, and I, what today is, Sunday, the 10th of July, and I am back to Hampton Beach. Um, I'd reverse the screen, but I don't know. Alright, there you go, old-fashioned. Hampton Beach. Back in Hampton Beach, I was gonna go to, I was gonna come over here, a little shaky cam, I was gonna come back on July 4th, um, She's like, are you nuts? And I would have just shown up early enough to get a spot. And it might have been nuts, but it would have been fine too. But, um, well, a couple of reasons I didn't. I got a sunburn from the Friday the 1st where... Lots of motorcycles. Where... Sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, you know, where I can and cannot reach on my back. There's a spot about as big as my hand which is pretty big, and that, um, I, I thought, it, it didn't hurt, it didn't blister, all that stuff, but I thought that it was something that I shouldn't go right back into the sun with just a couple days later. Also, um, I didn't want to, um, get out of bed on the first, because one of the things I love very much is sleeping in, which is why it's Sunday, the 10th, at the beach instead of Saturday the 9th at the beach because on Saturday I decided that I wanted to sleep in so I did I love it it's something just something about sleeping in that just like fills me it's like I don't know it's like addiction kind of stuff you know you get like a buzz from it and then just like addicted to it anyway I love it I love sleeping in I love I, I also love laying in bed before I go to sleep just laying there I mean, I don't have, like, a lot of people, a lot of people have anxieties that kind of pour into their, that, that, that calm for going to bed, and it just fills them with stress, and they are unable to sleep. I do not have the problem. I love to relax before bed and just lay there and, and fall asleep, you know, soundly war cuddle, like, swaddle, not swaddled, but, like, I just feel great. I, I love my bed. So I love, I love sleeping in. I love, uh, I love staying up late just laying there. I know it's weird. So yesterday I slept in. Today, today I also slept in. But I, so the way the beach is, there's some beach parking and there's some behind the development parking. And today I was like, I'm, I'm gonna get beach parking. Come hello, I water. I'm just like not gonna. I just didn't want to pay thirty dollars because I slept in. The day was already halfway gone, and some of those places are sketchy. So I was gonna get on beach parking or not and I'm actually I think in the very same lot that I was in last time but I was like there instead of here and I this is my my third trip around the beach I got this spot I was gonna just drive home because I was just kind of like whatever I didn't want to pay $30 for parking and I was able to you know I like I got to go for a drive got to go to the beach didn't walk on the beach that was fine just I'll just drive home because I'll have to drive home anyway like right now I'm probably gonna drive home in a minute once I'm done this video but um something in my head just said just go around one more time and so I did and I found the spot I wasn't like stalking someone as they like because the people were doing that and I was I was like I'm not one of those people I'm not gonna stalk a family at the get them to their car and they're gonna be like I'm just going for lunch I'm not you know and they said so forget it um so I um I just got the spot and when I got here put on lotion there was like a college kid in his car just kind of hanging out here and then when I came I went you know did my round walked down the beach came back for something to eat and the bat jeep not the batmobile a jeep wrangler completely decked out in all sorts of batman gotham city you know straight out of gotham property of Wayne Enterprises like all the stuff decked all over it so I thought that was cool. I just sat here and had lunch, which consisted of Cheez-Its and a coffee cake. A Drake coffee cake, if you want to keep going on um, Batman theme. So, Drake, that's like Tim Drake, Robin. Anyway, so, did that, went for another walk, and here I am. So, I love, I just like, I love Hampton Beach. It's not, um, it's not exclusive or elitist. It's not like... Hoity toity is like just 
ordinary folks, and I, and I just love that here. There's no, there's nothing pretentious about it here. Uh, but it's also like, well, well, the beaches, the beaches in New England are well behaved. Well, after school, well, as school is letting out around here, the kids are still at school together. So there's so there's still like this bored youth pack, and the beaches can get um, disruptive then. But as soon as school lets out and those packs are disrupted and the kids are back into the, you know, responsibility of their families all summer, then their behavior improves. Uh, so the beaches are, are pretty good. Um, it's uh, today, unlike last time, the, today the, 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 it was low tide. And at low tide, what's cool about low tide, and it probably doesn't have anything to do with low tide because the difference is only a few feet, but you can see Cape Ann from here, which is a kind of like... Cape, it's not Cape Cod, which is like the big, like, this is like the big thing, like, it's like this triangle of, it's like this triangular peninsula that comes off north of Boston, and I, it's, it's right there. I'm gonna try to get it, because I cannot see the, well, it's in that direction, so. Any other direction where you can't see, there's a couple islands off of, so this is New Hampshire, this is southern New Hampshire, and the New Hampshire seacoast just has a couple um, a couple towns along it before it turns into Maine, and that happens at Portsmouth. There's a river, and off the sh offshore from the river mouth, there's a couple islands which you could see them earlier. I don't know if I'm just at the wrong angle. Maybe as I was farther down the beach, I could see them, but that's that's cool. You can see them on the on the horizon too. So that's about it. I'm gonna head back home today. Is Sunday, so the the weekend exodus. I mean, the place is pretty much cleared out here by now. It was cool, it was a cool day. Uh, and then it got kind of a couple high level clouds, is what they call them, ha like hazy at times. So it cooled off and every time it cooled off, like a, another wave of people would leave. So I'm hoping traffic will be fine. Last week at work, um, so it was 4th of July, so we had Monday off. And um, so there's three people on my team plus my boss. And one of the people on my team took the whole week off which was, we had like a week's notice before she took that week off, so it was kind of like, Arr! and then um, the other guy on the team had Thursday off, so I was just saying, <laughs> you know, hope nothing goes, but everyone's, everyone's back tomorrow, it's a five day week, it's the easy week, so every other week it's, one's harder, one's easier, so it's the easier of the two weeks, so that'll be good, just gonna take it easy, uh, we'll, get, we'll get caught up in what we're not caught up with, and um, Hopefully the work will turn out well without any surprises. You, we like, you know, surprises. No one likes surprises at work. So that's all. I don't have anything really else on my mind. I'm just looking at trucks and motorcycles as they go by. Um, I don't have truck envy. I love my truck. Um, the motorcycles, I find them very loud, and and some of them, I mean, like the the guys are like sitting on them like they're they're getting ready for some kind of you know um exam of their privates you might say um but when i was in college i, I liked the the racing bikes that would be parked i've probably talked about this before i love the the racing bikes i'm too i'm too tall to ride them to be honest but i also realized that y if you had this really hot racing bike you probably didn't have anything because it's new england you can't ride it all year long so what are you going to ride during the winter well they rode shit boxes during the winter and i couldn't do that so once i realized that i was like oh you know boo hoo hoo i can't have a motorcycle but i could look at them every time i went to class and that was that was good enough i can and i can look at them i can look at them now too so i'm gonna i'm gonna Call it a video here. And from Hampton Beach, this is Liam. Thank you for watching.